Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome back to Three Good Minutes. I'm Jen. This is Ryan. We are office created at Newmark. Uh, we'll just leave out the last three minutes of what. You look great. Oh, thanks. Uh, this week, we are talking about managing expectations. It's like, don't tell a pregnant lady your arms don't look as toned. Like, that's a, that's an expectation. That's not what I said, yeah. and I never meant it, and I didn't say that, and you know it. Now you're putting this out for 20,000 <laughs> people. I did say it. I didn't say it. You I look did. great. Have I said that in this episode? You look great. Thanks. Three times, first 30 seconds. Uh, tenet, so we've talked about what we don't like in land, from land, the landlord side in leases. So expectations for tenants, because we get a lot of requests from tenants who either perceive it to be still a tenant's market, which in many cases- It is cases, a tenant's market. Let me finish my sentence. It's a tenant's market. Which in most cases, in most markets it is. In like, all markets. A Century City is still a tenant's market. But is like the bulk Miami, of Los Angeles. Miami, the core, still a tenant's market. The bulk of the country, yes, primarily still a tenant's market. However, there are still things that landlords will not do like two and a half percent rent increases in Los Angeles. Or 2% for that matter, because we 2%. get asked that too. Free, yeah. free parking for the entire duration of lease because we only use it three days a week. Not gonna happen. Uh, no <clears throat> termination fee. We can just walk away from the lease when we say we want to with no fee. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Nope. Uh, there's usually unamortized costs and a rent penalty. I know everyone's up in arms about the rent penalty these days, but you are walking away from your planned commitment to a lease. So uh, how about the dollar per square foot or dollar fifty per square foot in class A buildings? Twelve to fourteen dollars, fifteen dollars, eighteen dollars per square foot annually. For what? Like we've had clients say like, well, because the market's so down, oh, I shouldn't so I have to pay $5 or $6 in, in uh, Santa Monica, for example, which happened just a couple weeks ago, it should be $1.50. And I was like, well, I'm sure in like 1976 it was, but not today. I don't think that covers much these days, especially not even property taxes. No, so that's not happening either. Um, a blanket rights to expand, like there's a vacant space, I should have rights on all of the space around it, no matter how big of a tenant I am, which just annoys landlords because then they have to come to you every time they're trying to lease more space. And so it uh, kind of handcuffs them a little bit. Uh, signage when you're like 4,000 feet no. on buildings is not gonna happen. Um, what else have we been asked lately? Uh, we've had a lot of requests for, oh, uh, subordination, non-disturbance agreements, which we will not bore you with, they're incredibly boring, but those are not going to happen when you're under 20,000 feet. Full floor under? Yeah, not going to happen in most cases. Every once in a while it will, but most of the times, probably not. Nobody wants to hear it, but there is a size threshold. You do get more when you're bigger. That took a turn in a hurry. Wow. I'm talking uh, about like square footage. Like oh. when you lease more square footage. Size matters. Size matters. Got it. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, I, I had a thought on security deposit and I just totally lost it. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie. I, oh, uh, oh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Ryan came to me the other day, he being on the tenant side, me being on the landlord side of this particular deal and said, hey, <laughs> I want a very small security deposit, like two months. And I said, well, well why? So, well, because I fight for you. Oh, goodness. That's why. It's like Uncle Sam. And I said, well, the out of pockets the landlord's giving you are seven and a half months. This is a new company. They're owned by a global entity. You have no US financial to speak of. Like, why should I give you a two month deposit when mm -hmm. the landlord's spending seven and a half months of rent equivalent on concessions? And my rationale was. <clears throat> Because I said so. Because it's me. That was my rationale. Yeah, That's right. It didn't fly. Because it's me. No. Uh, we security deposits are probably I think the hardest thing to negotiate right now, other than like the the just normal economics in lease terms. Because um, landlords were burned. Landlords have been burned a lot in the last ten years, and and tenants did the burning, and so uh, protecting themselves, especially with lenders and their capital partners, is really really important. So. You know, if you're getting a million, two million, three million, four million, six million dollars out of pocket from a landlord between 
uh, brokerage fees and TI, tenant improvement allowances and, and free, free rent, rent and free parking and attorney's fees and all that stuff. It's, you know, unless you're one of the big five or six in technology companies or big 20, you're not going to get a two month deposit or a one month deposit. So security deposits are super important too. manage managing your own expectations. So all we're here for helping you manage expectations. It's true. It is. Are you ready for my one good thing? I'm ready. My one good thing is just, you look great <laughs> and you have really done a great job taking care of yourself and this little nugget in here. And I just, I want you to know that how proud of you I am for everything you've done to take care of yourself and be active and do such a great job working and taking care of everything and everybody. My one good thing this week is you. Oh, why thank you. Was that your one good thing before we started the episode? Or? Nope, nope, but it is yeah. now. Well, and have... that's what matters. That's what we put on tape. I so appreciate the sentiment. My one good thing is you. And your compliments. Thank you. Uh, I'm Jen. This is Ryan. We are Office Created. See you next week. <laughs>